Hey guys, welcome back. The pattern we're going to be tying today is what we call the Paul Mall Caddis. A little bit of a different take on the standard Caddis pattern. The hook I have in the vise is a standard size 14 dry fly hook. And I'm going to be using a UTC 70 in black. And I'm going to start at the hook eye and work my way back to about the barb. And right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and come in with some wax and wax my thread, get it nice and tacky. Okay guys, the body of this fly is going to be Snowshoe Rabbit and we're going to be using the foot and we're going to use the nice long spiky fibers from down here along the pad. We're just going to go ahead and cut a nice clump of that. Pretty large because you don't get as much as you think. So once you've cut that, come in, get all that under fur out of there and you can just set that to the side because you might actually need it. And then we're going to just do a standard dubbing noodle. And it's not going to be pretty because this stuff doesn't dub as nicely as a uh, high and dry or anything like that. But just do the best you can. Okay, just like so. And we're going to take this and wrap it right up the hook shank just like we would any normal dubbing and it's going to go everywhere on you that's fine that's what we want we're going to take that all the way up to the front clean up a little bit now we're going to do a little work from here so what I like to do is actually come in and put in a quick whip finish or a half inch now I'm going to come in with a dubbing brush rake this out a little bit and then grab all that craziness and give it a haircut we want to leave some of it long some of it scraggly I like to leave the fibers that are down on the bottom there leave some long ones up towards the front that's going to give us some legs This caddis is not meant to be pretty. Um, you want it kind of going everywhere. But you can see all those fibers sticking out. Looks very, very leggy. And the body itself has a great transparency and translucency in the water. Looks very, very buggy. The wing on this fly is a little bit different. This is brown, large-sized Palmer chenille. You can see what all that's got going on. It's got a lot of flash, a lot of great transparency to it, translucency. That's what we're going for. So I'm going to just get a nice hank of that. About that much or so. And we're going to tie this in right on the top. Just like we would elk hair. Or whatever wing you usually use so just get a few lashes around that then take it push it up and get some wraps in front of it to help stand it up like so and then I will come in get those fibers out of the way there and whip finish Trim out my thread. Pull all these up and cut straight across. We'll get that nice little head just like we would with an L caricatus. That's it. You can see that wing's just great. I love it. This thing fishes super well. You can see that nice little scraggly body. It's, it's ugly, but it's very buggy, and trout love it. You can see all the indications it gives of of legs and different things sticking off the body. This is a great little caddis pattern and it's one that the trout don't see 500 times a day. So we've had great success off this and you know a little flash in there never hurts. 
and it lets so much light through. It's a nice natural looking wing. And whenever I'm tying big streamers or anything like that, I always save these little sections of Palmer chenille that I cut off. And uh, that gives me tons of wings. And if you buy Palmer chenille specifically for these, you're going to be able to tie a pile of patterns with that Palmer chenille. But just come in if you wish. If you use head cement, give it a little dab right there. Very tough fly. Load it up with some uh, floatant and it'll float fine for you. If you don't put floatant on it, it will eventually catch water and go just below the surface. And sometimes you want to do that. We've had great success doing that as well. But that's it. That's the Paul Mall Caddis. Give them a try. Let us know what you think. Tight lines.